Hello everyone, so today we're going to compare three mid-level looper pedals. So over here I have the Boss RC3, the TC Electronic Ditto Looper X2 and the Digitech Jamman Solo XT. So first up, we're going to compare the audio quality of each individual pedal. Now with each of these, you can export your audio via USB cable into your computer where it's recorded with a WAV file, but I'm not going to test the audio that way. I want to hear the audio quality directly from the audio out from each pedal. So I have my guitar going directly into each of these pedals and it's going directly into my Audient ID1 for interface. So let's just give that a very quick listen. So as you can hear, the audio quality does not vary much among these three pedals. Now, if the audio quality is so similar, how would you decide between these three pedals? Well, then you'll just come down to your budget and what you're looking for in a looper pedal. Now, among these three, the Ditto X2 is the simplest one to work. It has a record and overdub foot switch and another foot switch for which you can assign three different functions. So number one, you can use it as a stop button. So that is very handy because there are some of these loopers where in order to stop the loops you have to double tap them which can be a bit more difficult live but of course you can buy an additional foot switch for the boss and the solo xt and assign it to be a dedicated stop button so that will solve that but again you're gonna have to spend a bit more extra to get the foot switch you can assign it to be a dedicated stop button number one or you can assign it to two different effects so it comes with just two effects number one is a reverse effect so that will just reverse your loop and number two it is a half speed effect so you can reduce the loops to half the speed of your initial tempo the rc3 and the solo xt is a much bigger step in terms of functionality in each pedal the rc3 for one has a built-in drum tracks there's nine different drum tracks pretty simple ones there is an aux in so you can connect an external mp3 player, your phone, ipad, things like that. There is also 99 different storage banks so you can store your loops there. So this is convenient for people who want to play live and they want to pre-record certain loops in order to use in songs. Then you use the RC3 to program your loops in their respective banks. The Jamman is even more functions to that. As opposed to the 99 banks on the boss there is I believe 200 banks on the Solo XT and if there's not enough onboard memory on the XT to fill in all those banks you can add in an external micro SD card to increase the capacity. The other two similar functions with the RC3 is that the Solo XT has built-in drum loops again there's an aux in and the Solo XT is probably one of the pedals where you'd have to actually read the manual in order to discover what other functions the pedal contains. So you can change the tempo of your rhythms, you can choose the rhythms, there's a reverse effect and there's also a quantizing effect on the Solo XT so it helps you make sure your loops are of perfect timing. Another cool thing about XT is if you have other band members that have the same pedal, so picture you the guitarist, you have one, another guitarist has one and the keyboardist has a Solo XT. So what you can do is you can link up your Solo XT to the other Solo XTs owned by your other bandmates. So this way you can synchronize drum patterns and loops and other things like that. Now if these three are a bit too complex for your use, each brand offers a much more affordable and simpler looper. So the Boss has the RC1, TC has the original Ditto, 
and the Digitech has a Jamman Express. So they are all very simple. They're all just single knobbed looper pedals. So they're just there to control the level of your loops. The difference between those three models is the TC does not have stereo ins and outs. It's only the Boss and the Digitech that has that. Number two, the Boss has something very cool for people who are not used to using a looper pedal. So what it has is it has lights around the level knob. So those lights indicate the length of your loop. So you can easily know where is the start and the end of each loop. So as the loop is playing, the lights are counting down to the end of your loop. So you know precisely when to hit the stop button and when to overdub another layer on your existing loop. Another thing I should mention between these three pedals is that the Solo XT is the biggest power hog here. It requires 350 milliamps of current in order to power up the pedal. So in the box, it already comes with its own adapter. But for those who have their own isolated power supplies, it would be probably great if we have a high current output in order to hook up this pedal into your existing rig. Or else you'll just have to use the power supply provided in the box. Now, of course, if you need a much more serious looper with more functionality and more intuitive controls for live use, then you're better off checking out um, the higher end models from Boss and Digitech respectively. So I hope that helped to give you a rough idea between the differences in terms of audio quality among these three pedals and how to narrow down your choice based on each individual functionality. Check out musicblitz.com.my for pricing info. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.